Mother, while on vacation in Bali in 2014, could return to Chicago tomorrow. Heather Mack was released from prison early last Friday. WGN's Kelly Davis joins us now from the newsroom with the latest on that. Kelly? Micah Heather Mack gained international notoriety after she was convicted of helping her boyfriend kill her mom. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison in Indonesia and just served seven. Mack was released early on account of her good behavior and is now on her way home. Heather Mack is returning to Chicago after a long legal battle overseas. How are you feeling, Heather? What do you like to say? The 26-year-old was convicted of helping her then-boyfriend, Tommy Schaefer, kill her mom, Sheila Von Weiss Mack, back in 2014. They conspired to split her $1.5 million estate. Von Weiss Mack's body was found stuffed in a suitcase in the trunk of a taxi outside their Bali hotel. What's going to happen to Heather? We're not sure. Questions surround Heather's homecoming. Brian Claypool has been representing Mac for the past five years and says he's preparing for the worst. We will vigorously fight any attempt by the U.S. government to charge Heather with a crime stemming from her mother's murder. But what are the chances Mac would face more charges here at home? You'd have to say it's not likely. It doesn't mean it won't happen. Uh, but you don't see this too often. Former federal prosecutor Jeff Kramer weighs in on the case and says it's a judgment call. She was convicted by a, a competent uh, jurisdiction overseas, was sentenced to 10 years, served seven, but her sentence uh, was not too dissimilar, uh, depending on the facts that might have happened here in the States. She's so cute. Before Mac was convicted, she gave birth to her and Schaefer's daughter, Stella. The six-year-old was with a foster family in Indonesia, but has been reunited with her mom to return to the U.S. Mac's attorney asked a judge to issue a temporary guardianship order for Stella to avoid foster care here at home. We're fortunate that we were able to get a court order late this afternoon to make sure that Stella goes with a private individual and not with a social worker with Child Protective Services. But questions remain as to whether or not Mac will ever get full custody of her daughter. But it would all come down uh, to those components of whether or not it's safe for the child to live with someone who was just convicted of murder. Max then boyfriend Tommy Schaefer was also convicted in the killing. He was sentenced to 18 years and remains in prison. In the newsroom, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Thank you, Kelly. In